Hey guys, welcome to African Empire, where we create content that is affordable, quick and easy, and will definitely give you the clothes that you're looking for, the clothes that is yours, the clothes that I know for real, for real, that you were meant to get. So guys, on this video, we will be discussing matches of the heart on my diary session, but this one, I'm bringing a twist to it. No advices, no clues, no da 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 da. All I'm gonna say is keep on watching. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning. And if you just wanna join our family, be sure to subscribe so don't miss any of our content, any of our content, any of our deliciousness and African Empire. So, guys. Today, I will be talking about something very interesting. So, before I talk too much, let's get to it. So, guys, I have been observing, you know, I have been observing and checking around and you know what I feel like lately we've been doing the same things man I don't know but it's a trend I'm seeing like for instance if a guy is gonna ask me I'll make myself an example where do you wanna go and I'll be saying restaurant we have to go and eat tea Ah, guys, to be honest, there's so much to do. There is so much, literally, like, there is so much to do in this world. There's so many entertainment things we can do. There's so much we can try. Hey, hey, have a good It's like, for instance, me, Nanja, if a person is going to want all the time to take me on a date and every time we're going to eat, hi, bo. Am I hungry, God? I understand. They say, oh, a way to a woman's heart is to making sure that she's well fed. I'm not disagreeing. I love good food. I love good chilling vibes. But I also enjoy nice, converses, nice conversations, rather. Get to know yous. I want to get the partner that I'm with better. I want to get to know them rather better. What am I saying? Let me rest. I'm saying I want to know the partner that I'm with better. I want to get to know them better, especially if you are in the starting phase whereby you're still figuring each other out. And also, if you're in a, in the middle of the relationship, it's always nice to spice things up, guys. Hi, Bo. It's nice to just see your partner in all forms. Like, you should see them in sports, in formal, in loungewear, in six-time wear, in roleplay wear, in you name them, you know? So, yeah, I was just thinking this is another diary session of mine by the way so i was just thinking Uzi guys on my side when it comes to dates i really enjoy thought for or the the date nights that the dating locations that we thought about yeah i want it can either be me or the other party. I want us to think at least, let's put a little bit of effort now on them. Like, for instance, I'm going to be talking about my top three, my top three um locations I would want for my date to be at. So, yeah, with number one, guys, I don't want to lie. I just like to, because I also like active type of guys like i'd like to know if you're very active like you also enjoy the health of life you know so i would love something like a an adventurous get uh date like i hate on a first date i hate it when it will be me going to the guy's place or them going to mine like having an indoor, because I, I think I've had a lot of those and they tend to be obviously 
like oh you find a good scene that's when you would now be a one night stand or maybe not it be a one night stand like give it away you know what i mean so i mean i'm very traditional with the type of dating formats i like to be i'm very traditional i'm those girls that still like to be pursued like i still want to say no and i want you to be persistent like i'm that like i can't change that so i enjoy those kind of things so with that being said i would rather um enjoy an adventurous location like it can be a secret location like let's say for instance the guy is well off like well off in regards of the the well um the, uh what's the name i'm looking for well versed yes i'm looking for well versed when it comes to adventurous sex sports or locations i i want you to take me to an adventure spot that that spot that maybe you would have enjoyed or liked let's say there's a nice waterfall we can have a picnic next to the waterfall even though it will be dangerous maybe there's a, a, a big snake that might come out of the water but i just want that to be you know adventure adventure to to be an adventure ex Flora, let me put it that way. Yeah, it's singy, see my face. So see, I'm a layer one by one, I'm plunge. So yeah, basically that's what I would go for. I, I I think I would enjoy that rather than a straightforward restaurant date because you know restaurant dates, especially for a person like me, sometimes ah, or oh, maybe it's ah, see, ah. I'm just like, oh, sometimes they're nice when they're happening in the middle, not initially, but in the middle of the dating phase. Maybe now we're boyfriend, girlfriend, I know a little bit about you. There's no much distractions because sometimes you'd find good to you're in a very nice conversation, eyes locked, and then a waiter just comes would you like anything? Yo, oh, no, you like no way. You know? So I would prefer a very nice quiet spot. Hiking will be good as well. To hike and then when we get to our spot, just chill there, take a few pictures and then chill and talk. I know. Chill and talk. Those because that's where you get to know each other like on the reels. So good see. You have no distractions around you. You've got so much beautiful nature around you. You're also testing to see how much of a warrior you are hiking with in case you guys see something scary there in the in the machatinis, in the trails. But yeah, I think that would be my top one. And then the second one would be... I don't know, as much as I've watched a lot of movies, I feel like Netflix and chill as a first date is boring for me. I would like it also, like the restaurant, to be the middle of the dating phase. Uh, but initially, I mean, uh, as a loner, as a person that is an introvert, I've watched so many movies on my own. I'm not being selfish or also thinking of myself only, but I will definitely wouldn't enjoy that on a first date so the second location that i would rather enjoy in that same spirit of movies would be you know those outdoor movies like in a public space with a big screen in the day and the evening or even in the during the day i don't, I don't mind but i would also enjoy that because it, it's giving a lot of like interactions and intimate moments to just get to know each other and also be in a setting of a huge crowd or even not a huge crowd like a very nice outdoor um, movie setting and that will also give that moment of maybe there will be a scene in the movie whereby we both um i'm not a quiet movie watcher i don't watch movies quiet no i can't I want some interaction in the middle, like, let's say, for instance, when now the movie is getting to a part where we both relate to that part. 
Let me talk about it. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Would you like that? Oh, we must try it one day. You know, I'm that type. So I think that also would be nice, guys, because, ah, man, it's something that's not normally, like, famous to being done. Oh, also, it's just a, a, a hot air balloon. Yeah, hot air balloon. As much as you guys will be there on the balloon on Pezulu on top, like, I know most of the top threes that I've named, they cost some money. They cost some moolah. But I'll also state other ones that you can try. Like, for instance, hiking trails are very affordable. Like, sometimes they are free. Sometimes they are 50 randy. You just have to get there, you know. These are, like, the most affordable ones. Because sometimes you'll go to a restaurant and then the bill comes. And then you can even see the poor guy sweating. No, that's not nice. So, it's fine when you getting to know each other and then no booty when you guys decide on going to a restaurant later on it can be something that you guys both will enjoy because you know how us girls will most of the times when going on restaurants i don't know maybe also other gentlemen chooses but mina shame I've been the one that chooses most of the time which is boring as well because manji I want something that will be for both parties like i want if you also like the art because mina i love art like i i, I believe there's an inner child artist in me so i love art. so i will always gravitate to places that have maybe a big frame of art or beautiful artistic lighting uh, structures like I, I, I'll be drawn to those kind of places with nice views. Yeah, well, I, I'm a person that wants a good scenery around me when I go out, so it will be that. So it will be nice to also know the other particles. Okay, what do they prefer, and align that with what I prefer. See, you in, the, in a place where we both will be happy. Let's say, for instance, um, the other part is like, okay, I enjoy how live music you know then we will check out okay when do they perform live music on this type of restaurant or whatever and then we'll go on that day yeah but we both sorted when it comes to that yeah but both parties are happy you know when the music starts then we will start now paying attention there and also to ourselves we have a lot of interaction as well so me and Angela, I just like a person that also knows what they like and also knows what they love and enjoy. And yeah, um, another thing that I think would be a very, very, very nice, um, um, I don't know, I think this one is in my imagina imagination and someone might even think, it's okay, this one, she watches a lot of movies. But this one, it's something that I have never also experienced. It's, you see those uh, high up building dinners. What do they call them? I don't know why they call them. Like whereby you will have a rooftop type of dinner. And as how you guys get to the roof. But I, I believe there's places like that. I've never experienced it, guys. You know, I mean, just so well on that one. So well, so well. Moment two, I don't forget what I will. You know, like that one, I, I think it's an imagination thing that I wish for. I wouldn't put it on my top three because it's something that I don't even know if it exists. I don't even know if there's places who offer that. Like I'm talking about dinner for two. I'm not talking about it's a, a rooftop and that there's other people. No, it's just two people. <laughs> okay. I just think that one will be cute as well for a location for getting to know each other, vibe, first time dating location. But that's not my top three. So my next top three will be a picnic, of course. I will. Picnics are so cute, guys, especially lately since we're getting so many inspirations from influencers, from uh, a lot of couple uh, influencers as well. I think there's so many ideas. I will. Picnics are nice, especially picnics at the beach. Oh, Picnics are nice as well. Like a picnic, guys, is the most affordable thing. You just pick what you have in your house. They pick what they have in the house in Atlanta. You just need to get the, you bring, you throw from your bed something you would have. Unless you want to 
exploring and you have money to spend. But basically, these are very affordable first time location dates, you know, because you wouldn't have to spend much. Like, come on, bruh. All you need is just snakesy, juicy, whatever you would have if you bought drinkers, whatever beverage, and flourish and you go out there and you fall in love you talk about things Madison Katele you go and dip your feet in the water that's why I said maybe next to a lake or a hey, Marama Lake are they safe? yeah they are safe because I once went to a lake in Richards Bay and it was not that bad yes it was not that bad it was not that bad because so when a small fishes la payana there's so many many distractions and then maybe you guys will start a topic on fishes and that guys if you have a scattered brain like me because of our world CJ topics will just come Jay. they will come 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 it won't be as especially if you guys have a connection of course um yeah but yeah guys i think that is also another nice uh gesture so guys, those are my top three gay yeah, locations for first dates. I think they're affordable and I hope you guys enjoyed them. Um, tell me if you guys hated them, but I'm joking. Don't tell me. I, I can't. No, no negative energy. Positive energy only. Um, also, comment down below other ones you would like me to talk about and my experiences if I've experienced them. And... Yeah, and let's keep the diary sessions flowing. Thank you so much, guys. Definitely join me on my next one. I will see you guys there. Bye-bye.